I am not showing the process of setting up the rest as this would make the video unnecessarily long. I'm starting therefore with the secondary clearance being ground, following that with some detail how the four angles involved were arrived at. Note here that we are using a stop at the end of the fence so that all four edges are ground equally. Another point, not illustrated, is that the left-right adjustment was set to ensure that the adjacent virtual cutting edge just missed the side of the wheel. We start the settings showing how the cutter has to be positioned in the indexing block, that is, with the cutting edge being parallel to the base, this shown on the left illustration. Whilst not relevant to the sharpening taking place on this video, that on the right shows how an end mill should be set when grinding the side cutting edges, that is, with the two opposing tips being parallel to the base. Of course, sharpening the edges cannot be done just with an indexing block as used for the end edges in this video. Setting the table at right angles to the side of the wheel. Setting the angle for grinding the secondary clearance. Note that the angle is achieved by a combination of the angle of the table and the curvature of the wheel. The card is marked red at the height that the end mill's cutting edge will be above the table. The angle of the table then being set so that this point contacts the wheel. Next we rotate the table so that the fence is at an angle of 88 degrees relative to the face of the wheel. This to ensure that the end of the end mill is slightly concave, this being essential. Having shown how the rest was set for grinding the secondary clearance angle, there is no need to show how the primary clearance angle is set as it is basically the same. With just the clearance angle changing from 20 degrees to 5 degrees. I will though repeat that the required angles are achieved by a combination of the table's angle and the curvature of the wheel. These shots show how the two settings compare. For those not conversant with the terms, the primary clearance angle is the one that produces the cutting edges. This now shows the primary angle being ground.
9. Let us now put the end mill to the test. Serves in a piece of mild steel. I will finish by comparing the setup for a task seen earlier with the same task being performed using my basic grinding rest. <laughs> 